So I'm going to show you how to um, create um, the one, two, three button um, that exists on the family page, on the, not family, on the animals pages, on other pages. Um, it is a bit of a job um, because you have to copy and paste multiple times and remember what buttons were before you pasted over them and recreate them. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to the menu. So first thing you're gonna do is go to the page that you, that has the one, two, three, four button that you want to copy. And you'll go um, menu, edit page, tap on that button. And you're gonna copy the button set. Um, so it's the one, two, three, fourth thing from the top, copy button set. Okay, and then you can say done. Um, and you can go to the page where you would like to add in um, the numbers. So possibly um, on the sports page, let's do that. Um, so the best thing that you can do is find a blank button. Um, if you have to paste over a button, you'll have to recreate that button later. Um, so I'm gonna go menu, edit page, and on this blank button, I'm going to say um, paste button set. And that will put this one, two, three, four button. And if I say done, when I press it, I get the number three, um, but I only have the number three. I want the numbers two and one. So I'm gonna go back to um, the page that has the button set that I want. I'm going to copy. You can either copy the two or you can copy three. Um, the, the turtle button that has the two on it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so you're gonna go menu, uh, edit page, um, copy button set again, done. Let's go back to the sports page and menu, edit page, um, paste button set. And you see it pastes the turtle, which is why if I pasted over something, it would paste the turtle over, for example, soccer, um, if that's what I wanted to do. Um, so I would have to go into the, that button, edit this button and um, put soccer in again. In this case, I'm just gonna remove turtle and remove the picture of turtle and save. And there it's gone. But if I press, uh, if I say done, and then I press um, edit button set, you can see it's still the two. Two. And then last we have to, well, the next one is we've got to go back to groups, go back and we have to go. Um, Snake. Oh, sorry. Um, menu, edit page, copy that number one, copy button set, done. Go back to our sports um, and I'm going to, don't paste over your button that you've already got um, this one. Uh, you want to go menu, edit page, and use another blank button and say, or actually, I'm going to use one that already has something on it. I'm going to use the skiing one. I'm going to say um, paste button set. And you see it made it a snake. So I have to um, edit this button and, and change the picture, um, select image, use the magnifying glass. Where was that nice skiing one that they had? Uh, it was a downhill skier. Well, you know, ah, there we go, ski, okay. And save. Um, and now if you see done, there you've got your three buttons, but I want them all in a line. So I'm gonna go back to menu, edit page, and I am going to reorganize a little bit Remember, this was all in our alphabetical order, so you might want to uh, put it back into alphabetical order. So your tennis goes there, your swimming goes there. How much do I really want to do this? Let's see. Yeah, we'll do all of them. So, you know, you just drag and drop while you're in edit mode until you have them all where you want them. And skateboard, you're our last one. We can say done and we can say two. two. Okay, and now when we press one, two, three, four, we've got our one, two, three, two, and three, two, snake, two, two. Um, that's it. All right. That is how you create a one, two, three, four button elsewhere on Touch Chat 
uh, a bit of a, a procedure, but it does work.